hey what's up guys so this is the design that we created in my previous video this mandala design now i came into a problem or an issue at the time of coloring this mandala now uh, i recognized that problem as i was editing that video and at that time i decided to you know show a version a colored version of that and uh, this is the problem that occurred so i'm going to uh, show you the problem and then i'm going to show you a way how to you can fix that issue it's not really a problem it is more kind of a long way to approach uh, cutting these mandalas so uh, so let me show you what the issue is so in order to color this kind of mandalas we have to go into our symbols and make sure we whatever color we want uh, we have to uh, do it below each and every design element that we have already created so let me show you what i mean so let me just zoom in a little bit and uh, let me just uh, put the this guideline star guidelines here and um, if i want to color you know these uh, different areas i have to use this pen tool and uh, i don't want any kind of you can say this uh, stroke so if i want to color it what i have to do is that i have to carry carefully you know put uh, these line these boundaries here and then uh, make sure that i have a closed shape and then i'm going to choose any kind of fill color and um, what i what the issue that you are currently seeing uh, might not be still visible let me sh uh, sh you know make an other shape here so uh, let me just do, do this one and uh, start filling out this area as well and uh, let me fill this one with a color and maybe just uh, something more visible easily visible and i think that looks fine so now you are seeing the issue right uh, hopefully you can see it on your screen and the issue is that when i have filled this area with the color the other half area the black line is kind of you know missing that's colored version is actually covering that black line that we have created although that black line is present above these lines you know over uh, it's not present below it but we cannot actually fix it easily and the easiest way that i found earlier was that just bring this uh, you know node instead of filling that area we can just i think make it like this and then something like that and you know try to make sure that it does not cover but it was kind of a hectic job you know no not trying not to make it over the line so you got the idea the issue was this thing when we were tried to fill this now this was a long way i although i have colored the previous mandala in this way and trying to fix each and every element every color element that i created it was a long way to do it now in this video i'm going to show you how you can easily fix and this issue and also an other way to create interesting these kind of mandalas so let me just set up the document if you're not familiar with how i set up the document you can watch my previous video okay now that i have set up this document let me show you how you can make your life easy for creating colored mandalas and for that purpose i'm going to use this pen tool and in the mode i'm going to choose this polygon mode and what i'm going to do is to create a triangle shape between these two lines so i'm going to click here and i'm going to click at the center and as soon as i am at the center it highlights which shows me that i am at the center point so i'm going to click here and then again i'm going to click here and i'm going to finish this uh, triangle shape by choosing the first point and uh, uh, there is here is a tip that if you want to use this method make sure that your star shape the points are even they are not odd so two actually not the two uh, but uh, more than six like six eight ten twelve something like that not thirteen fifteen seventeen something like that so make sure they are even and once you are you are done with this creating this uh, rectangle shape what i'm going to do is that move these nodes beyond the boundary of our document so i'm going to check this uh, node select it and press the shift key and drag it upwards and I'm then going to press uh, select this one and press the shift key and then move it beyond our document. Now I'm going to convert this rectangle shape into a symbol but before I do that I'm going to fill it with some color. 
so let me just choose a random color maybe like this one maybe a gradient color would be okay and I, I think that's fine maybe just change this one slightly yeah that looks fine and then I'm going to create a symbol from it so I'm going to go to the symbol step and then press create while I have this one selected it has created a symbol let's just close this tab and then I'm going to press Ctrl J to copy it and uh, for before I do uh, any kind of rotation or reverse uh, you know changing its position what I need is I'm going to change its center point so currently we have not selected this our center point which I'm going to click select this option that is called enable transform and as soon as I'm at this uh, you know selected this or uh, enable transform option it has given us this uh, kind of a, like a circular icon here which we are going to shift towards this edge as I'm, as soon as I snap it at this right corner it is going to show me the, the highlights and it is going to tell me that it is you know at the perfect line edge of this triangle shape what we am going to do is that I'm just going to flip it horizontally and then move it on this side and as soon as it snaps I'm going to release it now I'm going to select both of these and press ctrl G to group them again we need to shift this center point at the bottom so I'm going to press here and as soon as it is highlighted I'm going to release it and now I'm going to create copies of it around it similar to my previous video so I'm going to press ctrl J and rotate it and as soon as it snaps to its this border I'm going to release it and then I'm going to press ctrl J again and again to fill the rest of the area so now that all of our uh, new areas and guidelines are filled what we need is that uh, to simplify it we can just group all of these uh, groups that we have created copies we can just group them together in a single one in a single group and this is going to help uh, you know simplify it further and now you can easily start creating your mandalas there is a new slightly newer method here uh, it's not going to be uh, like previous one so I'm going to let me just show you uh, if I'm going to select this pencil tool and if I'm going to create some kind of random lines here they're currently not visible because I think uh, I have not selected the stroke color so yeah that why they were not visible now if I start creating this uh, random lines and stuff uh, it's similar to the previous version but we do not want it what I want is that I want it to be below this curve shape this rectangle shape and I'm going to bring it below it and make it a child not like that something like this one make it a child and as soon as it is a child of this one I can delete the fill color of this curve uh, that's very important so I'm going to delete it and now it is a child of this thing and let me show you just bring it here and whatever I want to draw it I can easily draw it and uh, I can you can see that if I go beyond the boundaries it doesn't fill anything that is the reason we have chosen this method because it is going to help us color these objects okay this looks fine and uh, I'm not going to draw any more details here let me show you how you can easily color it then and uh, for the coloring purpose what you can do is use the pen tool and uh, I think we need to make these strokes a little bit thicker so that we can easily use our pen tool I think um, three point stroke would be fine so now if we want to color it we can just uh, use the pen tool and start coloring any areas that we want so this is a pen tool and if we want to color it I think I have to change this option mode into the pen mode and I'm going to color this one so as soon as I'm going to color it you can see that it does not cover this area although it is covering this border line but as soon as I'm going to use the fill color you will see that it will not cover it and uh, this is, looks fine we do not need any kind of stroke for this one and once I bring it below all of the line curved lines you will see that it is perfectly now it doesn't matter if I move it on, on this area 
it will not cover those black lines although of course it will cover this you know beyond it because it is going beyond it but the thing is that our black lines will be now safe and we can easily then use pen tool to fill out the rest of the you know areas we just have to make sure that uh, inside our this boundary layer we do not cover uh, to go beyond our edges of these lines that we want to color so yeah this is going to uh, make life easier if you have uh, you can say that if you have found my previous and uh, the issue that i have indicated here uh, in my previous tutorial now you know that how you can easily fix this and in this way you will be able to color these mandalas easily and it will be less time consuming as to the previous case now there is another trick here let me show you what uh, that trick so these are just abstract shapes abstract elements that i have created and then filled them with random colors and i have grouped them together in the single uh, you know group and i'm going to copy it and i'm going to choose this our template that i have created i'm going to delete everything that i have previously created in this mandala shape let me just delete it and then i'm going to paste it and then bring that in between below that curve shape so make it a child of our curve shape and as soon as i make it a child of our curve shape i can easily create several kind of mandalas by just simply rotating that element and making you know different versions as i like as i see fit so you can see that you you can easily create interesting mandala shapes mandala design with the help of just some abstract shapes and you are not limited to using those abstract shapes as i have shown you in my previous video you can use certain uh, theme based element niche based element to create interesting mandala uh, designs based on a certain topic so yeah as soon as you rotate it you move it around uh, this artboard you will be able to create some unique mandala designs now here is a tip the last tip that is very extremely important in this case and uh, let me just hide the star shape so that tip is that once uh, the, the group the base group that we have created in which all of our symbols are we need to create copies of it we need to create five copies of it so i'm going to press ctrl j five times so one two three four and five and that will help us at the export pro at the stage of export of these mandalas so let me just hide these all the copies that i have created and show me uh, show you what the issue will occur if you do not create the five copies of these things and let me just choose a transparent background uh, because i'm going to export it as a png image so i'm going to use go to file export and i'm going to just export it with just one group not with all of the groups so just one group so after export if you look at the png image if you just zoom in you will see that there are these certain these lines appear at the certain areas at the boundaries area and this is the issue that will occur if you do not create those five copies and uh, in order to fix this issue we have created those five copies now let me show you if i export that same mandala using the five copies that i have created so i'm going to select these five top copies and i'm going to go to a file export and I'm going to export it again okay this is the new exported version now and if i zoom in you will not see those errors or edges at the set uh, at the this boundary areas of this thing and this is going to be very helpful in you know creating these design for print on demand purpose now you are not limited to these five copies you can certainly create more copies of it if you see fit and then export it if you still see some kind of edges in these five copies you can make i think up to 10 copies and uh, hopefully those issue will be removed so hopefully this video has fixed the issues that we have found in the previous video and hopefully this will help you create more interesting design especially color based design now the previous video it doesn't mean that the previous video is totally totally useless that is very helpful in creating i think more uh, towards the black and white kind of design but if you want to create uniform color based interesting designs interesting mandala design this is the way to approach that and if you have found this to be useful and these tips to be helpful make sure that you like the video it will help me with the youtube algorithm and if you are interested in earning online and learning more about the design skills you can subscribe to this channel it's totally free and hopefully i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching